<laughs> you are the you are real Sherlock for me. Uh, what's the difference between D wave and C wave? So wave isn't really a volatility wave. It's just a trend set wave. It just sets the wedge. Then we'll have a B wave retracement. This is an important wave because it could set a hidden bullish divergence, like a higher low on the Stokes, higher low, there we go. So that is an important one because you could take an entry on B wave retracement. C wave, okay, this is the important one now because if we get a C wave breakout up to here, C wave is the same as A wave. This is a C wave because it breaks out from B wave, but it's also an A wave because it just sets the next movement, doesn't it? Because up here, we'll get an A wave retracement. We'll get a B wave like this, and then we'll get another C wave. It just repeats. See that? See how that works? So this is A and C wave. A wave, B wave, B wave, C wave, A wave. Right? So over here would have been the same thing. Been the same thing from over here it would have been like okay we had a b wave potentially like that and they would have had like an a wave and then that was potentially a you know a setup for a previous move somewhere like that right does that make sense um difference between c wave and d wave nothing no difference the only thing is is like say we have a a c wave like this and it fails it's probably going to have a C wave try to break down because C wave and D wave are volatility waves. So they're breakout and breakdown waves. Okay. So if we have a failed C wave, we're going to have potentially a C wave for the downside and it could break support and set a different trend. If we have a C wave fail here and a C wave fail here, then the last wave in Sherlock wave is D wave. Anything past that, it's doing something different. So then in my mind, I'm looking for a D wave breakout. Okay. That's the last, that's the last attempt in my mind at a breakout. So if we have a, if we have a failed D wave in my mind, I'm pretty certain we're going to have a D wave down. All right. It's very rare that it'll go past a D wave. If it does, it's doing something fucking different. Right. Hence why on the charts here, you can see, right? Like I'll go back on the total three here, right? <clears throat> so every wedge and every uh, scenario here was okay. So higher time frame. So I go on. I go on the uh, the four hour here, right? So the higher the higher time frame, if we zoom out, if we zoom right out on the total three. You can see zoomed out. We have an A A B B C wave. But inside those waves, we have smaller waves. Okay? So inside there, we have smaller waves. If we zoom in, we can see them. There's one here, right? Let's count the waves. Watch. A volatility move, okay? An impulse move sets the wave. So here, A, A, B, B, C, C, D. It was a failed D wave. And it was a D wave down. Okay. So now we go from here. A, because D wave and A wave are the same. The impulse sets the wedge, sets the waves. A, A, B, B, failed C wave, failed C wave, failed D wave, D wave breakout. See that? Next one over. A, A, B, B. Failed C wave, failed C wave, failed D wave, D wave down. <clears throat> See that? So now let's go to the current move that we're on right now. A, A, B, B, failed C wave, failed C wave, potentially a failed D wave. What do you think is going to happen, guys? D wave. Not only is this a D wave on the lower time frame, but if we zoom out on the higher higher picture, it's a C wave on the zoomed out perspective, on the bigger picture. It's a C wave. See that? So not only do we have a D wave on the smaller waves, a D wave volatility to the upside, 
if you zoom out on the chart, we have a C wave on the higher time frame. So we have a we have a D wave breakout and a C wave. This is what I'm saying that we potentially have a very good week ahead of us. You see that? So in my mind, on the total three, which is the accumulative price action of all of the altcoins, three out of four altcoins will follow the total three as a market index, okay? So whatever the total three does, three out of four altcoins will follow this. So look how it, the total three wants to go back up and test this upper purple line. See that? So I think that the altcoins are going to see some volatility to the upside. Does that make sense? Is to enter the D wave. Yeah, you want to enter on a B wave retracement, which sets you up for a C wave move. And if you have a failed C wave, failed C wave, then you DCA on a D wave for a potential D wave move. Okay. So remember, remember this scenario here? Your first entry potentially is going to be the B wave retracement. And then if you have a failed D wave, uh, sorry, failed C wave here, failed C wave, failed C wave, potentially you're going to have a pop for a D wave. You could DCA or take another position here for that movement. Only if volume price targets Things like bullish, bearish, divergence, deviation plays, 1.5 standard deviations. You have to fit all of these things together. It can't just be one thing. It can, but you want to tick as many boxes as you, can, as, as you possibly can. So if you can take four or five of these different characteristics all together, you're really building a strong foundation for a trade. And this is what I look for every single day. This is what I'm drawing for you guys every single day. Like, I don't need to draw these lines. I can see them without the lines. But I do it for your benefit so you can see it. All right? I'm not fucking leaving! Uh, how did my week start? Good. Good, man. I hope that helps, guys. I hope that helps. I'll clip that for YouTube if you want me to. This is what I'm seeing with total three. That was helpful. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> so now, now that I've explained that, can you guys see why I'm kind of taking a bullish skew with uh, the alts and things right now? You see that? See how I'm taking a bullish skew? No more marbles. I want to spunk my channel points on them. I'll bring marbles back. I turned it off because I wanted to focus on the charts a little bit and just kind of have that less of a distraction. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll turn the, I'll turn the marbles back on. <laughs> uh, you still think it's going up? That would coincide with what's going on here. I'll click.
Just learn all this shit and how it goes together, you know?